Alyssa, you find yourself awaking from the brash tones of your alarm clock as you hear just a, (coughs) Alyssa, it's time to get to school. Come on. We don't want to be late. Ah, fine. You, Alyssa, you have been awake for a couple of hours past your bedtime. You weren't asleep in your bed. You find yourself waking up at your desk, sitting right in front of your old, uh, your old computer as you feel the faint warmth of the old CRT monitor emanating from it. You've spent the past couple of nights just staring at a specific username, Felderfox227. They've been sending you many messages over the past couple of weeks, wanting to know where you've been, wanting to know what's been going on, but you haven't answered. You drive further into the day through your neighborhood, hearing the sounds of your punk bands emanating over the radio, and your dad sort of uneasily looks at you uh, down at your lunch bag. Going with the uh, sack lunch today? Yeah. So? Uh, uh, it's n- nothing. Just, uh, we noticed that you haven't uh, been using your ferret force lunchbox. Is it getting gross yeah. or anything? Oh, sorry. I, I used to love that show so much. Like, is... Yeah. I used to. Right. Uh, but, well, uh, have a good day at school, darling. Uh, we'll see you at home. Bye. As you begin to walk off, uh, you find yourself walking from the intersection towards your bus stop, and you just feel this pervading sense of dread among you. And then, off of the corner of your eye, next to the bus stop, you see the faint of this green light. It's strange, because the bus isn't supposed to arrive for the next couple of minutes. But then, you notice the light coming closer and closer. What do you do? I keep staring at the light. As you stare, it becomes brighter, and you hear this low droning noise that emanates louder and louder until... whiteness. Aaron, it's been three weeks since uh, you found yourself in this exceedingly large field. All you remember is just walking home from your job. You just remember it being exceptionally cold that night. And then now you're in this sunny field. How is Aaron doing? I've been in the field for three weeks. Yes. Yeah. You've been able to, like, subside on, like, the scant number of berry bushes that are around here. But you've just been, like, you've been just walking for days and days and you have no idea where you are. And worse off, you still have no idea what the deal is with this strange green number on your left hand. Mm, yeah, I, I'm feeling a bit, like, perturbed by the fact that I have to forage to survive. <laughs> yeah. And I'm very confused, but I've been here for three weeks, so I've kind of gotten over it, I guess. All right. That being said, I'm not exactly happy with uh, being stuck in one location for that long and still being completely lost as to what just happened in my life (laughs) yeah yeah so 
to get you started off, I want you to make an examine check. To do this, uh, roll two d6s and then mm -hmm. add your intuition. I got six and intuition is... Sorry, I gotta pull my character sheet up. It's all good. Uh, plus one, so that's seven. All right, that is a mixed success. So when you get a mixed success, you get to ask me two of the following questions, but one of these answers will be true and the other will be a lie. So think carefully of which uh, of these questions you get to ask. You can ask me, what is going on here? Who can I trust? What are they thinking? What should I be wary of? What has happened here recently? And what is here that is not what it appears to be? What is going on? Yeah, what is going on is a good one. Let's go with that one. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's your first question. Uh, what is your second question? Is there anything that uh, is not what it appears to be? Okay, so to answer your first question, you look around in this field and it seems to be just like this strange Midwest field. Like, you live in Oregon. Like, this looks... This looks like Kansas, maybe, Tennessee. Like, geography hasn't been exactly your strongest suit for a while. So like, for all you know, you might could have just been miles away, but it's seemingly just a strange, like peaceful field. And the strangest thing is that you haven't seen any other people around here. As you walk or another day to find another berry bush, Suddenly, you notice that the sky begins to shimmer, almost like an old broken TV. And then from there, you see just this quick shadow just fall quickly down to the ground as it just lets out this faint poof out in the distance. What do you do? In the distance, you said? Yep. Something like fell. Uh, like, cautiously approach, but try to basically, like, stay mostly hidden as I get closer. Okay, well, if yes. you want to, if you want to try and be hidden, uh, that is going to be, uh, I'm going to need you to make a trick check. So, that will be rolling plus your resolve, but because you're not proficient in it, you'll have to subtract two from that. All right. Oh, okay, I got a ten... Uh, and then it's plus one, minus two. Or sorry, resolve is... Yeah, sorry, I'm looking at my character sheet. Yeah, you're yeah, good. So that's 11, minus two is nine, yeah. So you are able to pretty succinctly sneak through this field, um, but as you kind of moving about through the field, uh, you've been storing some of your berries in like your pockets and stuff, and you begin crawling along the ground when you get closer, but suddenly you just hear the succinct as you suddenly look down towards your pants and see just like berry juice slowly seeping out of the out of your pockets my berries <laughs> and and you see up in a, the clearing up ahead a little girl on the ground and uh Alyssa would you mind describing what Aaron sees so he sees a girl of about like 13, 14 years old, with uh, shoulder length, auburn hair, and just the gaudiest fashion you can imagine. Like a pink shirt and like Ugg boots and like leggings <laughs> with a skirt on top. And, like a jeans vest on top of all that. Peak teen fashion. She has a silver bracelet around her her wrist. Yeah. She seems to be clutching almost unconsciously. So you begin to crawl forward and yeah, uh, so you see this girl just lying unconscious on the ground. Uh, what do you do, Aaron? I, I, I wait about a minute or two at first. All right. Does that change anything or should I keep going? After a minute passes, Alyssa, slowly, you just, uh, your head begins to pulse and you feel the whiteness slowly su starting to subside. And now you look up and suddenly you've awoken in this large, 
green field. Okay, so I'm like lying down on this field. Yeah, you've you've lied down and you have now awoken. Okay, so I take a moment to just kind of breathe in, and then I I sit up. You sit, yeah. Sitting up, looking around. Uh, yeah, make an examine check. All right. That's a six and a two. That's an eight. An eight? All right. Uh, that's going to be so far. Oh, wait, I got plus intuition, so a nine. All right. Yep. Uh, so same deal. Uh, you get uh, you get to ask me two of those same questions, and one of them will be true, one of them will be a lie. Okay, so I'm going with what is going on here. All right. And what should I be wary of? Okay. So to answer your first question, uh, you look around and it appears like you're in a field seemingly there's nothing really to be seen uh no other living creatures or anything like that and then to answer your second question you begin to look about and you look down and you realize you've been clutching your uh ferret force friendship bracelet uh pretty tightly and as you unclasp your hand, suddenly you see <laughs> emanating from your hand this green glowing number, which reads 172. Alyssa, how do you react to seeing this uh, green number? I, I kind of like shake my hand as furiously as I can. It is not coming off. I try to rub it off. You are rubbing off. This number ain't coming. I... You are up, and Aaron, you see this young teen girl just like, just like, <laughs> as she, as she begins to shake, and you see her rubbing this hand, and you notice this, that number looks very similar to your number, uh, except your, you can't see what number she has, but you know your number has been stuck at 182 for the past entire time you've been stuck on this train. Oh, stuck in this field. <laughs> yeah. 182, you said? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I jotted that down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just keep observing. All right. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little, I like, I'm not ready to really uh, <laughs> do anything besides observe for the moment. Fair enough. So, uh, but yeah, uh, Alyssa, you've looked around. You, you you're sh you're shaking your hand it is not coming off uh this passes for a couple of minutes but then i kind of like dust myself off as best as i can and i just frantically look around for anything anywhere that i can go to any trail that i can follow okay i'm gonna go off of your uh previous examine roll based on what you've rolled last uh you you don't see any paths around the area like it doesn't it looks like there haven't there aren't any other humans on these like very rolling hills so nothing that would seemingly give you much of a direction so uh there are hills right yeah there are hills uh all around this Can field I, like Am I on top of a hill or am you're at I like a lower a base hill? level? And for context, Aaron, you're like sort of up on the edge. That's how you're able to like sort of shield yourself from her view. OK, I would walk towards the top of a hill so that I can get a better look around. And uh, Aaron, you see this girl just like sort of frantically looking and now she is slowly walking towards you. <laughs> I try to go over the other side of the hill, but I kind of slip and tumble down it. <laughs> oh, and suddenly, Aaron, please describe what Alyssa sees stump suddenly just like starting up and stumbling down the hill. Uh, just, just like a figure really quickly, basically just like falling over out of sight, I guess. I, I'm, it's like I fall down the I'm trying to get away from this. Yeah, person, basically. So they don't. Yeah. See yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what's I'm going on and I don't know who to trust, but I like basically they just kind of see a figure briefly rise and then fall right back down. Yeah, so Alyssa, what do you do from there? Uh, I scream. <laughs> I, and you just hear the sound of this scream. What are you doing, Aaron? <laughs> I, 
for I stand there uh, stand there for a few moments to collect my, my thoughts and then I uh, uh, I, I like raise my hands in the air and go I have no idea what's going on I've been here for a few weeks what's and up? Uh, Alyssa, you see, just peering over the hills, two hands, one with that same weird glowing number that you have. I am uh, frozen in place, but I kind of, like, look up and down at Aaron, just trying to, like, get a better idea of what kind of person she might be. So, uh, Go for it. yeah, you see, just, like, peering of above the hills, a uh, young adult woman, she has like this dark olive skin and uh, dark brown, like curled hair and not not the b- most tall person. But Aaron, you were walking home from your most recent job, right? Uh, when the train picked you up. I, I skipped going to my job. Ah, uh, OK, OK. So yeah, like, I just felt like ditching that day. That's fair. So so <laughs> you, you see to basically never show up again. Yeah. Yeah. So you see her uh, dressed in uh, this uh, this this sort of rattyish old T-shirt and uh, these uh, baggy jeans as she's just like peering up uh, with a very similarly panic expression towards you, uh, as you. Who are you? Uh, I, I say my name, my name is Aaron, and I've been here for weeks and have absolutely no idea what's going on. Uh, I have berries, but they might be kind of squished, <laughs> if you would like some. You look and you see just like emanating I from her jeans. I offer a handful of squished berries. You see. You see just like what appear this just red pile of mush just being offered towards you, Alyssa. I take a tiny step back and I'm like, what do you mean here? What is here? Um, uh, I'm as confused as you are. And uh, I was hoping you could tell me because I, I am wanting to eat something besides these berries pretty badly. <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> I'm supposed to get to school. Uh. <laughs> uh, Aaron, you look I'm and... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, you, you... This dawning realization is like, oh, geez. There's like an unattended child here. This is not what you signed up for. It like you like you've quit almost every single one of your babysitting jobs. Like that's Have I found any info at all about this location besides the fact that there's grass and berries? Yeah, I, I, I like, now that I you guys have seen care. each other, I want you two to now like uh make uh an examine check. There's w- one more. I got a four and a six. That's a ten. Ooh. I got a ten, too. Plus one. Yeah, that is a complete success. Congrats. Uh, yeah, you get to ask me those two questions still uh, from the same list, but this time both of them will be a guaranteed true fact. I would go with can I trust and what is here that it's not what it appears to be. All right. So those are your two questions. Uh, Aaron, uh, so I'd recommend going with two questions that haven't been asked yet. I'll do what, what should I be wary of and uh, what are they thinking? Okay. Yes, Alyssa is they in this sense. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Alyssa, to answer your question of who can you trust, uh, you look up as you stare at the uh, berry stained jeans of this strange adult. Uh, she like... She seems just like just as frazzled as you and she doesn't seem like like you've seen the PSAs like, you know, you know what a stranger looks like. And this one's not wearing a trench coat or has a van. So they, they seem they seem this seems legit. And besides, they offered you berries, not candy. So so it's, it's all good. <laughs> but. And uh, Aaron, to answer your questions of like, what are they thinking of? Uh, you look at like Alyssa and you get the impression that she's still like very unsure about like what has happened just as you are. And uh, 
you get the impression that like she's half like expecting that this is a dream but to answer your other questions um Aaron, you begin to look around and out in the distance um amongst the hills now that you've gotten like a better look of things uh you notice off on the far hills you see a stick just like of like strange like this large stick sticking out of the ground that doesn't match any of the berry bushes because so far you've only seen berry bushes this looks like a tree branch that is just sticking out of the ground it's it is something it is something different the first different bit of plant life that you've seen in these entire days Alyssa to answer your question of what should you be wary of you begin to kind of look around on these hills and something that you notice is that like uh like there are these strange bits of cracks among the amongst the hills like almost sort of like small little sinkholes of some type uh like almost as if like uh there used to be like some sort of seismic activity on these hills that these cracks are like remnants of but they don't necessarily match tectonic shifts like you know them oh, can but, i ask a question by the way yeah uh are, is you said Alyssa came in with a pod right no you no, saw no, some no, sort just a you saw some sort of like pod like shadow coming about but okay there's nothing left over except the person just the person she there. was just she okay. was she was just all alone in the field just like you were i just want to add that i i i, I say i say out loud as well that like uh i feel like we might have been kidnapped and dumped into a, like a meadow by somebody for some ulterior motive <laughs> Because, uh, like, I, I, I just share with the person, or with Alyssa, that I've been here for a while. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, I, 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 I don't remember how I got here, and I, I, nothing bad has happened to me yet, but I also have not been able to, like, go home or, you know, any of that stuff. <laughs> um, Alyssa just kind of looks at you and she's like, who would want to kidnap you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm of poor. Weird and <laughs> My parents are middle class. <laughs> <laughs> Can't put up that much of a ransom. But why else would I have like woken up in a field <laughs> after passing out on just like a casual walk? <laughs> what is up with these place? With this place, like, what's this stuff on the ground? And she points out, and you see too, uh, Aaron, that the hills do have this these strange cracks forming into them. It doesn't look like a landslide, but something strange, but- I haven't come across these before, right? Yeah, no, this is new. Uh, I, I, I do point out that I haven't seen like <laughs> these sorts of structures or that tree branch you mentioned. Yeah, so you I point out, out and- Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm sorry that I haven't found anything out. <laughs> and I'm sorry that you don't want my berries, I guess. <laughs> But uh, it, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm going to go. I, I just decide that I'm going to go check out those things I haven't seen yet. All right. Uh, so and Alyssa, I guess, like. I, I follow if you. If you want to tag along, I guess you can. But <laughs> I, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and I, I'm kind of. I know you're a child, but <laughs> you fell out of the sky, apparently. So maybe you're like an alien disguised as a child. What? No. Fine, fine. I can't. I guess. At I that point, Alyssa, you are reminded of a certain alien Sona that you created way back when. <laughs> I, I am blushing deep red. <laughs> so, yeah, you do notice Aaron suddenly them blushing at the mentioning of her being a secret alien. What do you mean, Alyssa blushing? Y yeah. <laughs> So with that yeah, said, that's weird. <laughs> so, so yeah, the two of you begin to walk further alongside these fields, and soon you re you look around and you notice, yeah, this is not some sort of tree or fallen log. Instead, it's just this large wooden branch with this large sort of mound of dirt like built up around, almost like someone dug like a post and stuck it in the ground. 
Can I can I examine it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Make an examine check. All right. One. A one again. Yay. Ooh, we got the first complete failure. So uh, <laughs> this means I get to make a, a hard move on you, and you'll find out what that means later. But also, on your character sheet, I want you to mark an experience point. So every time you fail, that will go towards uh, you uh, leveling up. Now, Aaron, do you want to similarly examine? It's a, it's like a post in the ground, right? Yes. Yeah. You said basically. Yeah. Uh, can I do like perform by just like trying to pull, pull up on it? I'll just say that you, uh, like, you don't necessarily need to roll for that. You just start like okay. pulling onto it. Uh, yeah, like not, it's it's just like a piece of wood basically yeah exactly yeah, it, so i just try to pull it up to see if like and as you begin to pull it. out uh suddenly uh <laughs> martin you find yourself like rustling awake as you feel someone suddenly tugging upon your leg and you look around and you see your face is just completely surrounded by darkness and do i know why uh, well, you know, you're suddenly starting to get the impression that those guys weren't part of a modeling agency, and... What? <laughs> and then suddenly, as you begin to pull, uh, there's a slight shake to it as you see, uh, suddenly emerging from the ground, a leg kicks out from the dirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like suddenly, uh, yeah, Aly Alyssa, what are you doing? I I am frozen. I am just looking at it. So you, so uh, as you're running to the hill, uh, Martin, please describe what they see slowly digging themselves out of the dirt. Okay, uh, you start to see sort of wooden appendages, uh, digging itself out of the dirt. It seems fairly humanoid, and then you realize it's sort of a wooden mannequin wearing a vest and sort of a dark bucket hat with a, uh, large branch. Yeah, so you see this strange mannequin beginning to suddenly emerge, and, uh, someone dumped you in the hell car, Martin. Uh, actually, just as a start, I want you to roll a train history check just to see how much about the train Martin knows. Okay. Yeah. So eight minus one, seven. Eight minus one. All right. Mixed success. I mean, you know the deal with like the different train cars and you do know that passengers and stuff, but you've never like actually encountered a passenger. And to be honest, uh, you've only heard like dangerous things about them, about how like any denizens that travel along them usually face some different dangers. <laughs> Oh, okay. And as you are slowly wrestling up, you notice standing right in front of you, this young girl who is completely frozen and this, uh, this woman who is running away on the fields. What do you do, Martin? Ah, uh, oh, you, uh, the passengers, uh, don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm already missing a leg. <laughs> Hello? Are you... Are you just a really high quality mannequin and I flick him flick him in the forehead? <laughs> I take <laughs> I take a tiny step back and I go like Fuck yes. I, I yell from the like the hill, like, are are you a dude in a suit? Or... <laughs> I'm a dude in a vest. <laughs> <laughs> Take a, a tiny step forward, and I try to flick them too. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you flick, you see that this guy's face is, you just hear the succinct of tap of wood. As you look and you see that uh, the eyes and mouth of this man is painted on, but it moves. And it talks. Are you with the modeling agency? <laughs> Excuse me? The people who buried me? 
I don't, you know what, now that, now that I think about it, I don't think they were with any modeling agency either. I'm gradually, like, walking back toward the scene, uh, or toward the, uh, sorry, Martin was the name of the character? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, gra- I'm, like, slowly walking back, but, like, you know, keep, like, <laughs> not, <laughs> still keeping a distance. Uh, and, uh, I, I ask, like, you know, kind of still half yelling, because I'm, I lead a bit. Yeah, you're, uh, you're pretty far. You, like, like, ran a good 500 meters away. <laughs> <laughs> like, did, did you have anything to do with us coming here or be like being or us being here yeah uh no D- did you have anything to do with me being buried six feet under i i did not uh, s- uh sir and then i ask like what is, what is your name uh Oh, oh, oh how uh, miscella- the- or like miscellaneous uh, wood creature. Uh, I don't <laughs> have any of my uh, business cards on me, but uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Martin Manis, the mannequin man. And do you intend to do us harm, Martin? Uh, well, no, do, not, not unless you think accidental splinters are a lot of harm. <laughs> hmm. Do you intend to do me harm? Uh, I shake my head. Why would anyone harm you? Oh, that's a good question. But but they do sometimes. (laughs) Have you seen anything? They uh, work as a good leg, though. I kind of look around and I shrug. (laughs) All 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 I've seen are berries and grass and shrubs. (laughs) Yeah. uh, It should be noted, uh, Martin, you do realize that, uh, that wait a second, this oh, it's the hill car. And you begin to look up and you realize ah, wake up time's almost here. And suddenly the group of you look behind you as you just hear this low as the ground begins to shake as you notice one of the hills slowly beginning to shift open you th- think it must be an earthquake but suddenly that sa- those same markings begin to slowly crack open revealing a large mouth and two large eyes that emerge from the hill being like who is waking me up at a time like this? And suddenly, all you see, hear another voice from one of the other hills saying, like, I didn't do that. And a third say, well, it wasn't me. And you all look as you see hundreds of these hills slowly awakening to life. Uh, as the ground begins to shake profusely, what are you guys doing? I turn to Martin, like, what is this? Oh, it's wake up in time. In the least <laughs> Sort of. Uh, I feel there. like I'm in a dream. Couple of them, so maybe, yes, no, but it's probably good, best we, we leave now. Yeah, and uh, with that, you think you know? So, uh, Martin, you think you know the direction of the door, uh, but... Uh, you need to just remember which hill it's going for. Is, is the shaking coming from all over? It is coming from all over. It seems like this entire field is now just shaking awake. I just kind of, I sat down because I feel like I'm in a dream and I'm just wondering how to wake up right now. Oh, uh, th- no, no, we should do the opposite of that <laughs> right now. I'm going to kind of pick her, pick, pick her up from under the shoulders. Get, get, get up. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to need you guys to each make a flea check right now. What is that based in for the points? Uh, that is going to be based on your uh, your tenacity. Tenacity. Yeah. I got a five and a one. That's a six. And I got a plus one. So that's a seven. Okay. Dang. Four. All right. All right. So if, if flea isn't a basic move, that means it's minus two. Yep. And if it is a basic move you have, okay. Yeah. So every time it's not a basic move on your on your thing, but yeah, on the character sheet. Okay, sorry. Oh no, that is not it. a basic move. Then it's minus two. Then I got a three. Ooh, yeah. I rolled a twelve, uh, and then I. Oh wait, it's a four. Yeah, uh, Aaron, you are prof- yeah. you do have a uh, flea, so 
Yeah, and then I have minus one for tenacity, so that's 11. All right, well, that is still a complete success for you. And then, uh, by the way, uh, Martin, what'd you roll? Three. Ooh. <laughs> Five minus two. Or actually, because it's a minus two to it, because I'm not proficient. So that should be a minus three altogether. Cause I have a, so that should be a two. I got a two. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need you. Uh, well, Alyssa, uh, Martin, I need you guys to mark another experience. Uh, and you guys are running through these fields. And uh, suddenly, um, so you begin to uh, successfully run through the field and you, you're initially following Martin as you're running amongst these shaking hills as they begin to start conversating and talking, causing even more shaking. And as this is occurring, uh, suddenly uh, you hear just you're running alongside one of these hills as one of the mouths open and says like, oh, good morning, causing both Alyssa and Martin to suddenly fall down uh, into the mouth that has suddenly opened. Uh, so Aaron, you're running along the cell and you see uh, both Martin and Alyssa fall into this hill's mouth. What do you do? Uh, I just keep running. <laughs> you, you keep on running in that direction. Per All right, perfect. Uh, and as uh, Martin, Alyssa, I need you two to make roll a defend. So I have a nine. Seven. Seven and a nine. All right. So, so you two do not get, uh, like, get any harm from this, uh, as you feel the, uh, weight of the earth, like, slowly, like, slightly squishing you every time this hill opens and closes its mouth. But, Martin, you do know that the hills, they... When it's waking wake up time, they love to have long conversations. So you could potentially be here for a while. So what do you two do? Uh, like when they fell in the mouth, I can't see that they're like still in the mouth. I just see them kind of disappear. Right? Yeah, you kind of you see them that they're still in the mouth and they're kind of just like being like, uh, just like oh, just so, so I, I can't see. Th I can see them still in the. Yeah, yeah. Or they weren't know. eaten. Uh, OK. All right. But, uh, but uh, I'm gonna still keep with your run decision because that's. Uh, oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Know if I can see that they're alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if from, I turn back, I mean. So it. you look and you see, uh, as you're running away, you do look and you see that yeah, they are they are still alive and you see them trying to climb out. Uh, in terms of climbing out, uh, Alyssa Martin, make another flea check, and also if you guys want to use any of your. Uh, special moves you are allowed to do that anytime that's a zero six, <laughs> six. a six and a four that's ten and all right two that's eight all right all right so you are able to climb out of uh so you are able to climb out but you were not so, Alyssa, you are not able to get Martin out of the mouth. Uh, Martin, I need you to make another defend check. Oh, okay. Mark another experience, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Nine. All right. Yeah. You are still not be. You are still not damaged uh, by this, but you're not having a good time. You do not. After some experience, now you can confirm you do not like being buried. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, as you are, uh, but Aaron, you, as you're running away, you turn back and you do see that Alyssa has climbed out, but Martin is still stuck within the mouth. Uh, I hesitate just to see if Martin is out. Uh, Martin, you just still see him just like, uh, huh, it's huh. cool, I get it, we just met. <laughs> I yell like, are, are you still alive? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Probably. Um, maybe. I offer him a hand. Oh, all right. Uh, roll a trick check. So you're just trying to pull Martin out. Yes. Uh, and I got a one and then I got a six. That's a seven. Okay. All right. Subtract two. So that's actually a five. All right. Uh, so uh, Martin, I'm going to need you to try and make another flea check. 
as you are. Oh, uh, can I make a at this point? Can I at this point? Can I like be coming over? Back yes, to- yes. You, you after running away, you still see them struggling, and against is, is your better judgment. Over and I also don't have a place to escape to anyway. Yeah, so you so run over. Uh, kind of double backed because I thought they died when they. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you want, you can also. Uh, Aaron, you can use your uh, flea skill or trick. Either one of those would work to try and uh, pull Martin out. I'll do flea because I get. I think I get a plus yeah. one off that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got seven. Seven. All right. Yep. You are able to. So you are able to, as you pull uh, Martin out, uh, you feel the, uh, like you almost see more. Uh, Alyssa fall back into the uh, into the mouth uh, like Martin is a lot heavier than he looks but with that said you as you pull him out uh, Martin you begin to uh, like feel the earth like subside around you but you do feel a like tugging sensation around your tree branch as you hear just this whoosh, as it just pops right off of the socket. Uh, oh no. And uh, oh, yeah. you see it now getting crushed into the large mouth of this large chattering hill. Well, that one didn't last long. Yeah, uh, I need you to mark one harm, Martin. Oh, kid. Okay. I'm, s- I'm sorry about your leg, Martin, but what do we do? Can I have your leg? What do, we, what do we do about all these mouths in the ground? Uh, we, li- we leave them. <laughs> so, yeah, you think, Martin, you think the door is just right up ahead. You just got to be able to, uh... There should be a door over here. How, how big and, like, heavy is Martin? Um, as a wooden mannequin, I'm going to say he's about, like, maybe, uh... Uh, 70-ish pounds, maybe. Uh, so something that you and Alyssa could easily, like... Okay. Like light, yeah, lighter than the average adult. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's made of wood anyway, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so. Uh, I I just I if Martin's that light, then this time I'll like pick him up and. All right. Run in the direction. Of him. Perfect. So, uh, Alyssa and Martin, as you were running, uh, you point out towards the direction. Yeah. One last time. Uh, try to make a flea check. That's a total of seven. Seven? Yes. All right. It's a four and a five minus two. Okay, then. I also got a seven. All right. You two are able to uh, pretty, like, you guys run throughout the hills as you hear him just chattering about all sort of things. You run past one hill saying, like, well, I think the weather's quite well here. You run past another saying, well, did you hear? I heard they were cousins. And then past the third (laughs) one, oh, well, with this weather nowadays, the economy's going down the toilet. And all these strange, disparate conversations and you f- feel like suddenly the hill's becoming more muddy as the seismic activity continues on. And uh, sure enough, suddenly you look up into the horizon and you see this strange, like, structure just standing in the middle of this field. Uh, it is a large... Uh, a large reddish door that seems to be made out of some strange metal and it's a double arched door that where there is a gold handle in the shape of an infinity symbol rotated by 90 degrees like i'm like martin what do we do because he's (laughs) the only one who seems to have any idea about anything yeah uh martin you do know that like you got you do know you got to turn the symbol around you guys thought i was weird you don't know how a door works (laughs) i take their i take their hands and try to guide them on how to do it and as you just hear the as the door slowly creaks open you rush out and as soon as you enter through the door the ground suddenly has this moment of stability where everything does feel like doesn't feel as unstable except there's a slow slight rumble to 
your steps. Sort of like in, when you're inside a car or a bus or a train. And as you look into the horizons, you see staring outside next to you is a large barren desert with dried out red and orange soil and strange purple mountains that can be seen in the distance. And the sky seems to be in this strange perpetual storm covered by a vast array of blacks, reds, and yellows. And as you look down, you see that there is this strange rusted iron exterior floor and you look towards and you see these massive metal structures of what appears to be a train car as it's moving perpetually forward as you hear the low sounds of wheels clacking around the tracks i rub my temples <laughs> you and like just kind of like soak it in for a while i guess yeah at, as much as you rub your temples you ain't waking up man <laughs> uh Alyssa? i approach the catwalk to get a better look at the horizon and you look as you look at the horizon you see it just slowly moving down to your left as you s- and as you look down below the catwalk, you see just the ground rushing at this insanely quick speed that you wouldn't expect as the faint breeze just like rustles your hair. Uh, as you look away from the catwalk. Yeah. Uh, Martin, uh, you look and you see that these two seem to be new. You probably uh, gleaned this before. Oh, but, by the way, I start eating my berries silently. <laughs> <laughs> you had berries? <laughs> so fine. Would, would you would you like some? Uh, no, I gotta watch my weight. <laughs> All right, they're not that great anyway. Yeah, they were kind of squished. <laughs> I thought they were raisins. So, what are you so talking you're... about? She's got squished. She's got squished berries. We're so, in so the just, middle of a desert. Is this a train? What is this? Course, just to check, this, this person is a human, right? Yeah, it is a mannequin that is walking and talking on its own. Yeah, I, I've just I asked Martin directly, like you're you're not so you you're not a human, and ha- have you ever been a, a human? <laughs> uh, not as far as I recall. No, no, not a human. Do you live here? I am here? a fashion icon, though. So is this your your home? Uh, no, no, my home's in a different part of the train. <laughs> Are we on planet Earth? <laughs> What's Earth? <laughs> okay, that's so that's all right. I just I kind of step aside a little and just sit back What's down. The planet? <laughs> it's like a spherical large object in space that things like dwell on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really big berry that you live on that sounds really stupid <laughs> okay yeah Alyssa. Oh, I, I just kind of like put my head into in between my knees <laughs> kind of just stop talking for a little bit <laughs> yeah Alyssa. i need to get a new leg so let's uh let's uh move it along <laughs> where to to the next train car in front of us where else I oh, ask no. Alyssa if, if like, sh- sh- uh, uh, if Alyssa knows anything that's going on at all, like, I don't like, know. Al- Alyssa, You're the one who's have... supposed to know about that stuff. I've only been here for do three weeks. About like the numbers and passengers getting them down. Yeah, you, you know, uh, Martin, you know that that these strange passengers they get they get the green numbers. Sometimes they go up and down, and. Something happens to them. You've never seen or heard about what happens when that number gets to zero, but you know that uh, once that happens, you don't see them around anymore. Okay, all right. Let me think. Let me think. Right, uh, passengers. You two are passengers. You got the you got the thing on your thing. <laughs> the green thing on your thing. Uh, on, on this part of your thing. 
Alyssa suddenly remembers the number and she instinctively tries to shake it out of her hand again. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's not how that works. You gotta you gotta go through the train and do the thing to get it down and then you stop existing. <laughs> okay, that's numbers it. aside, uh are is every train car full of things that will Yes, you? they are all full of things. <laughs> that will eat me. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, some of them. So if, some if of we them we probably eat. If we go to the next train there. car, will 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 we also get eaten by mountains? Probably not. Okay. No promises, but probably not. Alyssa, I think I'm ready to go to the next train car. <laughs> I mean... That's where you want to go. Okay, awesome. Because okay. I don't have a, a leg, so I kind of need you guys to go, to go that way. I try to help him up, like propping him over my shoulder. Mm. Yeah, I'll do the same. Because I guess, uh, oh, Alyssa's hold. Sorry, fourteen. Fourteen ish. Okay. So uh, since I guess I'd be a bit larger physically, I, I'll, I'll, I'll as well like take on that. Yeah. Role of helping this mannequin move. <laughs> yeah. So with that, uh, at you slowly make your way across this catwalk. Uh, it is quite solid. Uh, it doesn't feel unstable at all. Uh, so that's nice. And the catwalks are fairly wide, about six feet across. So that that you guys. Uh, slowly make your way across and then soon a similar door as to the one that you guys exited out of stands in front of you uh you can handle this on your own this time right <laughs> kind of roll my eyes and yes. open the door <laughs> <laughs> and with that uh you enter into the next train 